Tom Dean has been woodworking since 2008. His latest project is a brand new experience for him. If you visited the Home and Garden Show, you might have noticed a chainsaw wielding man cutting wood. That was Tom, and it was his first time ever working on a piece like that. His latest project is a six foot long salmon made entirely by hand. It's not exactly the hand tool Tom is used to having on him, but he says he wants to do it again. It was challenging. Carving with a chainsaw is completely different than, than what I use. You have your ear protection on. You kind of focus strictly on the fish and kind of blank out everything else. What was really enjoying for me is to see these little kids uh, at the Home and Garden Show and wave at them and they would, they would smile. and So that was a lot of fun. Dean said all the wood was donated. It weighed about 300 pounds before it had metal teeth cut it down. He trimmed about 150 pounds off and he's not done yet. The fish will be donated to the Paris Gibson Museum of Art for them to display another local artist's work in their venue. The fish is in its final stage of getting ready to be displayed outside the museum. The Square staff are all excited to welcome their fishy friend and get it painted and ready to show the public. Tom came in, shared this, this project that he's working on, and uh, felt it would be a good fit for the museum. And he knows we have this beautiful lawn and sculpture garden uh, mm -hmm. that we're wanting to expand on. But I think it'll be a, a draw to people that come in, whether they come from out of state to the museum or if it's just local community members. I think they'll get a lot out of it. Dean expects to complete the project in about two or three months. You can follow his progress on social media. In Gray Falls, Asher Lined, MTN News.